Well, hello there. Hello, hello. Uh, Punk Rockin' here again. And I'm here to show you how to join your RetroPie to Wi-Fi. Or the wireless interwebs. Whichever you prefer. Uh, just a quick couple things I'd like to go over before uh, we get started here. I'm in my main video on how to set up a RetroPie and get one ROM going. Um, I don't use Wi-Fi. And the two reasons why are thus. In that setup, <clears throat> you don't need a keyboard for anything. To set up Wi-Fi, um, you'll need a keyboard actually to uh, type in your password. Um, so again, if you have a keyboard lying around or you have one on another computer, I would just go ahead and use that for this. I wouldn't buy one just for this unless you really feel like you want to. It can come in handy though because certain menus in the RetroPie um, need a keyboard to work. And then the other reason is because Wi-Fi is generally slower than Ethernet and is not as reliable. It can uh, cut out from time to time, you know, not just on your RetroPie but any wireless device, so there's that. And then and when you update or copy games over, it will obviously go really quick uh, going through the good old cable there. Um, but there, having said that, there are several ways to get games on the RetroPie, one of them being a USB flash drive. And um, I have a video covering all the ways you can copy games over, so uh, go ahead and take a look at, the, uh, look at that. But again, you really only need internet to update and copy games uh, if you go that route. Um, so anyway, with all that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I will see you over on the TV. All right, uh, here we are at the TV, and as you can see, I have my RetroPie already booted up. I'm already at the main menu. Real quick, uh, just make sure you have your USB keyboard connected. Um, and we are going to want to go ahead and go to RetroPie here. Uh, hit the A button on your controller or whatever button you mapped the A button to. Um, and then hit A again here at Wi-Fi. And that is going to bring you here. And uh, you're going to want the first option. So go ahead and hit the uh, A button again. And that will bring you to your list of networks. And I'm going to go find mine. And hit A on your network. And now you're going to want to type in your Wi-Fi password. If I can remember mine. And then when you're done, go ahead and hit A. And it'll start connecting. All right. Uh, here we are. And uh, see in the top left there, it says configure Wi-Fi current IP 10.0.0.4 wireless ESSID. Um, that should be the name of your wireless network and then um, the current IP that's your IP address so if you want you can mark that down and when you get over to your computer you know you can either do backslash backslash RetroPie or backslash backslash 10.0.0.4 or whatever your number is and that'll connect to the Pi um, but yeah that's pretty much it so you are connected to Wi-Fi now you can go ahead and update you can go ahead and transfer your games over uh, whatever the heck you need to do. And then uh, real quick under that is disconnect, remove Wi-Fi config. Um, just get back here the same way and go ahead and hit this and it'll disconnect. As you can see, wireless ESSID is empty. The IP address is still there, but that's fine. Uh, go and go ahead and hit exit. And there you are. You're good to go. So, uh... Uh, that's pretty much it for connecting your uh, RetroPie to Wi-Fi. Pretty simple and straightforward. Straightforward. Kind of sucky you need a keyboard uh, just to do it, but keyboards are abundant now, so you can probably find one in your local dumpster. Just kidding, don't do that. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, hope you're enjoying your RetroPie, reliving the good old days. Later. <laughs>